And hello again, everybody. Joe Fiducia back once again with another tip in Windows 7. Today's tip will be about the preview pane. Now, the preview pane is a feature that simply shows you your document, gives you a nice preview of a file. And I have to say that it's a feature that commonly goes unnoticed. So unless this has been brought to your attention or unless you stumble on this feature by accident, you may not even realize it's there because it's not even turned on usually by default when you first upgrade to Windows 7. As you can see here, I have opened up my Documents folder, and I have several files in that particular location. Perhaps I'm looking for something specific, and I don't remember exactly which one of these files I'm looking for. I'll know it when I see it, so that typically means that I have to open the file first, check it out, and determine that way if it's the one I'm looking for. Well, the Preview pane will allow you to see the file without opening it. Now, to turn on your preview pane, you'll want to look towards the top right of my screen. You'll see a small button that looks kind of like a white box next to a blue question mark. This little white button here is the preview pane. When we click on this button, that will turn on a small window to the right-hand side of your files. Once the window is opened up to see your files, it's a matter of simply clicking once on your files. If I don't remember which one I'm looking for, for instance, I can click on this Excel file here and get a preview of it to the right-hand side. If I'm looking for a specific Word document and I don't know which one it is just by the name alone, I can click once on that Word document and see the entire file. If I'm looking for a PowerPoint presentation and I don't remember which one it is, I can click once on that and see the entire file. To answer one of the questions you may be asking, this is the entire file. It isn't just the first slide. It isn't just the first page. In this presentation that I've previewed here, I can use that scroll bar to the right-hand side there, and clicking that down arrow in the scroll bar, I can start navigating through all the slides in the presentation. If I were to return to that Excel file, once I click on it, I not only see one worksheet, but I can also look at the bottom of the preview pane to check out any of the other worksheets that are in the file. If I was looking at that Word document or any Word document, let's take this final stockholder report, I not only see the first page, but instead I see every single page the file offers. The functionality of the preview pane is somewhat limited. You really can't do too much with the results except see them. You do have a little bit. For instance, if I was looking for a specific paragraph that I wanted to maybe copy and paste into an email I was writing, we do have the ability of selecting text in the document and performing something like a right-click and copy. But that's pretty much the only functionality we will have. We won't be able to edit the file or we won't be able to do anything with the data in the file. All we can do is preview it, see it, copy it, and then if we needed to go into it for more we can double click on the file and physically go into it. Now switching windows just for a moment here, I would like to also point out that the preview pane is something you'll see within an application. See, the preview pane is part of Windows. So anytime you open up Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, you'll be able to utilize the preview pane there as well because again, it's built into Windows, not the application. Here in Excel, what I can do, for instance, is go to the File menu at the top, or File tab, I should say, and go down to where it says Open. Once I'm down here, I can see the same list of files. These are just Excel files now. And if I'm not really sure which one I'm looking for, I turn on my Preview pane, which is, again, on the top right-hand side of the same window. Once I activate the Preview pane, it will then show up, and now I can preview my files and use this to determine which one I want, once I find the file I'm looking for, I can then double click on it to open it. Finally, here are a few more quick tips to know about the preview pane. It isn't just common Office files you can preview. As we've seen, we can see Excel files, Word files, PowerPoint files, but you can also see other things like a PDF file, picture files. Uh, here in this example, I also have a music folder. If I were to click on this folder, you'll see a bunch of WAV files and audio files. Maybe I'm not really sure which one I'm looking for, but with the Preview pane, we just click once on the file, and I won't do it here for the purposes of the demonstration, but you can see there's a Play button ready to go. It'll play the file for you, allowing you to hear it, see it, and determine if that was the one you wanted before opening it. And finally, the Preview pane will remain active until we disable it. 
If I were to return back to my original list of files, you'll notice that the window for the preview is still there. I usually like to recommend turning it off simply because it does take up a lot of space. We can turn it off on the top right hand side from the same place we used to activate it in the first place. We click on that little white box just once and the preview pane will disappear. In summary, the preview pane is yet another great tool of Windows 7 that we can add to our arsenal of finding things quicker and easier. Thank you for watching and I'll look forward to sharing another tutorial with you very soon.